Join me as I dive into the wild world of zombie ants and try to figure out what's really controlling them. There's a fascinating phenomenon in the natural world that's both captivating and unsettling at the same time. Zombie ants. Yes, you heard that right. Zombie ants. These ants are under the control of a parasitic fungus that affects their behavior in some pretty mind-blowing ways. And today, we're going to explore this weird and wonderful world and try to understand what's driving these ants to behave in such bizarre ways. Understanding how this parasite manipulates the behavior of its host ants is a significant challenge. The fungus, known as Ophiocordyceps unilateralis, is a highly specialized species that has evolved alongside its ant hosts over millions of years. This means that it's developed a range of complex strategies to ensure its own survival and propagation. So, to really grasp what's going on, we need to delve deeper into the biology of both the fungus and the ants. One of the most intriguing aspects of this parasite-host relationship is the way it affects the ants' behavior. Infected ants will climb to high locations where they'll bite onto a leaf and produce a fruiting body that releases spores. This is a crucial step in the fungus's life cycle as it allows it to disperse its spores and infect other ants. But what's interesting is how the fungus seems to be able to control the ant's behavior to achieve this goal. The level of control exerted by the fungus is truly remarkable. Infected ants will even change their body temperature to match that of the surrounding environment, which helps the fungus to grow and develop more effectively. It's a testament to the incredible adaptability of this parasite and a reminder of just how complex and interconnected the natural world is. As we explore the life cycle of this parasite, we're going to see just how sophisticated its strategies are. From the way it infects ants to the bizarre behaviors it induces, every step is carefully calibrated to ensure the fungus's survival. So, let's dive in and take a closer look at the life cycle of Ophiocordyceps unilateralis. The fungus typically infects ants through contact with its spores, which can be found in soil and decaying plant matter. Once an ant comes into contact with a spore, the fungus begins to grow inside its body, slowly taking control of its behavior. It's a slow and subtle process, but one that ultimately leads to the ant's demise. As the fungus grows, it begins to alter the ant's behavior in subtle but significant ways. Infected ants will start to move away from their colonies, often climbing to high locations in search of a suitable spot to produce the fruiting body. This is where things get weird. As the ant will bite onto a leaf, and start to release chemicals that help to break down its own body. The whole process is both fascinating and repulsive at the same time. It's a testament to the incredible diversity of life on Earth, and a reminder that even in the most extreme environments, there are always organisms adapting and evolving to survive. One of the most surprising findings from research on zombie ants is just how widespread this phenomenon is. It's not just limited to a few isolated species. Countless varieties of fungi can manipulate the behavior of ants and other insects. This has significant implications for our understanding of ecosystems, as it highlights the complex web of relationships that exist between different species. In fact, research has shown that some species of fungi can even team up with other organisms to create complex networks of manipulation. It's a reminder that in the natural world, nothing exists in isolation and that every species plays a vital role in the ecosystem as a whole. So, let's summarize the key points we've discussed today. We've seen how the parasitic fungus, Ophiocordyceps unilateralis, manipulates the behavior of its host ants, and how it's evolved a range of complex strategies to ensure its own survival. We've also looked at the fascinating life cycle of this parasite, and explored some of the surprising implications of its existence. Thanks for joining me on this journey into the wild world of zombie ants. If you've got any thoughts on this fascinating topic, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about the amazing diversity of animal behaviors, be sure to subscribe, like and hit that bell icon to be notified of our next upload. And as ever, until next time, stay curious.